All right, so this is part two of mechanical rigging using KineFX. And in this one, I'll do something relatively simple. We'll just rig like a basic car, okay, or a vehicle, okay, like this is not really a car. But yeah, so in this lesson, we'll take a look at that. So to get started, this is relatively easy. Okay, so I'll start off with, uh, we'll create a geometry folder and I'll start off with a box and the first thing I want to do is I want this box you know above the grid so we'll just take the Y axis and put it in the center and divide it by two okay and then I'll just make it slightly longer okay. and then let's take a let's take this edge and we'll do a bevel okay so this is good Okay, the next thing we'll do is uh, I want to group the bottom points in order to copy the wheels over there. Okay, so I'll just select these four and I'll just create a group and we'll call it wheels. Okay, then uh, we're going to pack it. Okay, so just take a pack. Now default the uh, pivot location for the pack is the centroid. Okay, which is, uh, which will be, like, let's see if we can spot it. Uh, set this to wireframe, there you go. So there, there's your pivot. Okay. But I don't want it there, I want it at the base. So what you can do is set it to origin. So it'll come over there. Now, this is, uh, this is just a basic tip. Uh, like, you can't really move the pivot around, that's a little complicated. So what you can do instead is, depending on where you want the pivot, let's say if you want the pivot over here, so before you pack it, just, you know, move the object. Let's say if we move it here, so then our pivot is going to be at this point, you know, or if I move it down like that, then my pivot will be over here. Okay, so before packing, move your object to the origin based on where you want the pivot to be. Okay, so like if I want the pivot to be in the front, then I can just, you know, keep it here. So this is like a simple enough way to do it. Okay, so I'll just... I'll get rid of this I don't need that okay so we've packed it and then let's just name it so I'm going to name it and we'll call it uh, let's call it car body okay so that's done now let's create a tube and this will be my wheel so we'll set it to the z-axis set it to polygon and a number of sides is fine let's just lower the radius and the height okay and then we'll give it end caps now pack this as well we'll name it later because we want four of these and each each one of them has to be named separately so we'll name we'll do the naming later okay uh, and then let's just do a copy to points so we'll do a copy to points we'll take this and sorry this over here and the points over there Turn off the transform using target point orientation and set this to wheels. Okay, so there you go. So you have your wheels. Now uh, we want to name each one of these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll take a blast and we're going to have to separate them out. Okay, so this will be zero. We'll do delete non selected and then just do four copies. So control C, control V, control V. Okay, three copies actually. Okay, and then uh, so this is one and two and three. Okay, and then I'm going to take a name and we'll name these. So naming is very important because as I would mentioned in the last one as well, uh, your bones require names. So these points become your skeleton eventually. So they need they all need to have names. Okay, uh, so let's call this. This is the left back wheel so let's call it left back wheel okay control c control v this is the left front wheel this is the right front wheel and this is the right back wheel okay so we have everything in place and now I can just take this 
and we can merge everything together so let's just take all of these guys tab and merge it so the car is done okay yeah not the best looking thing it looks more like a monster truck or something but whatever okay um okay now let's take a transform and i'll just move it up like above the ground all right so now the next thing is uh, we need to set up the skeleton okay so i'm going to take uh, I'll, take, I'll take an attribute promote and I'll promote the name attribute from primitive to point okay and then just take a take an add and just delete geometry but keep points okay now we want this to be our root and each one of these points should get you know attached to this one so what i'll do is i'm going to press 2 and i'm going to delete this and do control c control v so this will be uh, let's keep this to delete non selected this will be my root you know and these are the wheels so now take a for each point and we will attach each one individually to that center point okay so take a merge and what is important is uh, this will come first okay and then the point in here comes second so this becomes the parent and that becomes the child and then uh, take an add and do by group so what you should get is this like each line is connecting over there now the only thing that's important is uh, the point in the center will be like you'll get four of them because you know each one becomes like you know each point like over here you'll end up getting like you know multiple points so uh, what you want is you want to fuse all of them together into one point because if you don't what will happen is if you do like a split pane left and right and we pick up the geometry spreadsheet so you'll see this you'll see like car body car body you have like four of them so just take a fuse and that will repair it so there you go okay so now we have like one car body okay so this is good and now the only thing left is uh, let's just turn this into a skeleton so just take a rip doctor and we turn this into a skeleton okay, so turn off initialize missing names because this has names and just turn on initialize transform okay uh, if you want we can like just see them bigger yeah there you go so this is fine okay then the rest is similar to what we had done previously which is we'll just take a capture pack geometry and take you know this our actual geometry from here and the rig doctor and let's set this to smooth shaded and just turn on capture by attribute and there you go so if it turns black that means we've done everything right and then uh, let's take an attribute delete and get rid of the color i don't know if there's a way to remove that here uh, i don't think so okay anyways doesn't matter so just take an attribute delete and we'll get rid of cd yeah okay and then uh, we can just use a bone deform and animate this so i'll just plug this in over here and the rig doctor comes there and then take a rig pose and that goes into the last one make sure that uh, you do turn on initialize transform because if that isn't on your bone deform will give you an error right if you click here it says missing attributes from rest skeleton so it's looking for transforms so you have to make sure those transforms are on okay and then i can just try to you know animate this so let's do one thing let's take like all four of these okay somehow they don't like all come into one for some reason what i can do is i can just do a control c and put them all in like one single you know group so this one goes here and that one also goes here so this one single thing will you know control all the wheel rotations and i can get rid of you know all of these 
So if I take this and rotate it, see, so I'm rotating all the wheels in one place. So what I can do is I can just take this, we'll do, uh, let's do add frame and see what we get. Okay, they're going in the opposite direction. So let's do minus. Okay, that's fine. And then uh, let's pick the center. I'm still learning things. So I, I'm still trying to figure out how to put this on a path. So maybe the next lesson, I'll show you how to put this on a path, you know, once I can figure it out. KineFX is still a little weird, you know, the way it functions. But uh, yeah, uh, let's take this and then uh, here I'll do like add frame. And okay, that's too fast. So let's do one. Let's take this. Let's do divided by 20. And okay, the wheels are moving too slow. So let's do multiply by five. Okay. Yeah, so if we press play, there you go. That looks decent enough. If somebody knows the formula for the whole rotation stuff, you know, like the wheel rotation based on the distance or whatever, then you can, you know, calculate that and put it in here. But uh, yeah, this is just like, you know, fairly simple manual stuff that you want to do. Okay, so next lesson, uh, we'll take a look at, uh, like if I can figure it out, I'll show you how to do, like, you know, putting an object on a path. And we'll also do like basic IK.